Hey, welcome back to episode seven of the Sadcast. I'm your host, Billy. I'm here with my co-host, Mr. Suit, as always. And I'm brought to you in part this week by the refreshing taste of cheese. 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 You not like cheese? Am I doing good? No, you're doing okay. Oh, cheese okay, is delicious. Cool. What kind of cheese do you like, Billy? Uh, well, you know, I got to tell you, I am a fan of Parmesan. Okay. Yeah. Do you actually like Parmesan? I'm curious. Parmesan is sh- shit. It's good. Yeah, it's good, right? Yeah, Pretty you good know shit. what I'm saying. I'm actually curious about that. That's that's a great, you know, that's a great topic. What are your... Um... Is that a great topic to Tell start us, it off? Yeah, start the episode seven podcast on an amazing topic today. Tell us, Billy, what are your favorite cheeses? Um, I like Gouda. Gouda on ya. Mm-hmm. I like uh, Famunda cheese. I'm not falling for that. Famunda days. Welcome to the sad cast. Yeah. Welcome to the sad cast. Whoa, 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 whoa. Everything sucks. 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 Welcome to the sad cast. Welcome back to episode seven. My name is Billy, and this is Mr. Suit, aka Mr. Cute, and we are brought to you by Cheese. Literally. How was your week? That's how we kind of started off, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's been it's been a little longer than a it's week. It's been right? one week since it's I been mm-hmm. one week since I looked at me. So tell me about uh It's been I swear to God, every time you ask me, I told you that last time. I don't think I said it on camera. Every time he asks me, so how's your week been? I just hear like the the part from Family Guy with the seven second bare naked ladies. It's been that was bare naked ladies. Like I just hear yeah. that line. It's been Yeah. It has been one week. A little longer, too, actually, since we recorded. For yeah. you guys, it's going to seem normal. Yeah. Um, we've been having some busy lives lately. Schedule with, uh, conflicts. Yeah, and with Billy's... That'll be out. Yeah, it's coming yeah. out tomorrow. Right, so it'll be out when this drops. Mm-hmm. So it'll then fri- last Friday for you guys. And that's, that's what it was, is we've had a lot of running around with that. But I think I think it was really worth it. Yeah, yeah, it's... it's yeah. Turned out really cool. I was a little anxious about it at first because it it was normally. Oh my god, we haven't even talked about what we're talking about. So you guys will have to <laughs> check it out. We're just like, yeah, it's been like it was pretty crazy. Like, yeah, it's gonna come out Friday. Yeah, yeah, Friday, mu- like we haven't talked yeah, about it. Like if you haven't been keeping up, right? We so, talked about it a little bit last. Week. Right, but like anyone that might have missed that part. So so Billy drops. Is, we'll have dropped a music video this last Friday from when you guys are watching this for yes. Chase the Sack. Chase the um, motherfucking sack, baby. Yes, Chase the Sack. I won't go back. Yeah. It's such a good song. No man. one um, no one fucking... has... Well, it's it's funny recording shit in the past because it's like right. now people are watching it who have heard it. So now um, you'll be like, no one's heard that yet. But oh my God, wait, they have. Yeah, yeah. It is crazy, yeah. Um, We filmed that, but I was a little... At first, I was like, oh, fuck, I don't know how it's going to turn out. Because normally when I record, when we record shit, we have more of like, a, it, it was just so fast. Everything was so yeah. fast. I was it was kind of last minute and rushed. I, yeah. And I, I watched a little bit of like a couple clips on the camera, but I wasn't able to like watch all of them. So when I left, I was just like racking my brain about like, fuck, did we even like, get is it gonna we... be? Did we get all the shots we need? Yeah. And, and then it turned out we got more than enough. Yeah. Everything worked really I, good. I ended up doing... um some some folly work at home yeah oh and that shit turned out really well really yeah good, the coughing really you guys will get to hear my cough in yeah. the beginning of the video i have to show you uh the rest of it um oh, or, yeah. oh no i sent you the whole thing. yeah yeah i've seen the whole thing okay that's right because i i sent i sent it to a couple people last night but i sent it to um i like sent like screen recordings so how so this is a good way to kind of kick things off how are you with constructive criticism because I have a, I struggle with. Oh, I thought you were about to be like, how are you with constructive criticism? Because you were absolutely fucking trash. <laughs> no, 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 I. Because this is my thing. Like, and this is probably not healthy of me to do. But like, when I show people music, when I show people videos, when I show anything, I always like say like, I'll be like, I don't like, don't like. Do you ever send shit to people and they feel like they have to like critique it? let's unpack this <laughs> <laughs> no like i i because i here's the thing like i think it comes down to the fact that when i send someone a song because okay this is why it is 
Do you get I the people that are confused? Like you said, maybe you send it because you're done and you're like, yo, I want you people to hear this. People don't know. Yeah. Cause when people But then think, they think you're sending it to them and they're like, oh yeah, it's great, but it could use more cowbell. And you're like, yes, yes. I do get that. Um, another thing I get is I will send people. Um, and I think you've actually, you've, you've been a, you've been an aggressor on this for me. Like I've been the victim of this from you. I'll send you something that's like, and I'll literally say, I'll be like, yo, it's nowhere near done. Um, this is right, what I'm going to do. Yeah. But here's what we've got so far. And you're like, yeah, it'd be really great if we could do this and this though so, and this. And I'm like, yeah, I just fucking told you we're going to do that. Yeah. So that happens to me and sometimes. Like, and too. yeah, but you know what? And how I deal with it though is like, that's kind of the thing. It's like, it's kind of like, so for the people that don't get it, yeah, I'll be like, oh, all right. Well, I wasn't actually looking. I was like just sending you this to like show you it's actually done. And then, like, normally the response is, oh, my God, I'm so sorry. No, it sounds amazing as it is. And what I'll respond with then is, like, no, but, hey, that's great feedback for, like, next time. It's weird that, like, so many people they just assume think they're like, that you want, like, cause right. some, it's weird, though, because I used to have a buddy that would send me songs. He'd be like, yo, like, I want you to give me, like, three things you like, three things you don't. Uh, you know, <clears throat> excuse me. Tell <laughs> Tom, we're sipping on black. Time for a camera shake. We're yeah. sipping on black water right now. Yeah, um, but um, great, great, great black water. Yeah, but um, basically, uh, he would be like <laughs> liquefied tarball heroin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, just these, you know, no one really knows. We what just we're went in on. the bathroom and we scooped some liquid out of the toilet, and uh, <laughs> delicious. <laughs> um, oh, I hate when you do that shit. It sounds mm-hmm. so fucking gross. Especially now that you've explained that the inside of your mask sound, smell or taste wait oh no it it's wet you said right <laughs> it smells like shit it's a lot of sweat oh. um so they'd be like yeah man tell me what you like what you don't like I really want to know your opinion I need I really value your uh, and I'm like right. I'm not a very opinionated person in general I'm kind of just chilling <laughs> like, you're just sitting there like oh shit I got like I'm like quiz. hold cause, on because people so they think oh you make music you must have like this like right. profound thought of music and I'm like if you send me something and then I'll know in the first 10 seconds <laughs> if it's fine but see also Wait, I'm, can we counter argument that though but oh you yeah Billy could you give me three things you like three things you dislike about this song yeah. you make music you gotta have a profound mind man bro I've filmed the fucking song where I just went, that cock, whoa, that cock. Like, you know, it's like when you, because like, I appreciate your opinion on things, but yeah, I feel like someone should like not feel that serious about it. Well, like, people you know don't look mean? at the, okay. So even like, okay. So that song came, was like a, like a was, joke. It was a joke, but like, yeah. it, it was like, I wanted to make a song that was like my early shit. Um, my, all my early shit was fucking stupid, but it's I still like Ligma. It's not it's yeah, so good. It's a classic, but it's, it's the beats. Your beats are fucking yeah. fire. Like it's not like the fact that it, it's not what I'm saying in the music. It's like the, the like notoriety that people think about. Like I've had people that like have told me like, yeah, I haven't really listened to your music, but I see that it gets streamed. So I figure, you know, you're doing something right. I'm like, dude, cause that's that literally don't give that's a just shit. a clout chaser. Dude, yeah. That's oh, just yeah. someone that's just there. Like, yeah, I see you got some coattails I could ride. What's up? Yeah, like, people don't give a shit as long as they, they see streams like, oh shit, you got a million streams. Whoa, oh, oh my god. Like my, my reaction to that, do you remember my reaction to that when you first were when you first were re-talking with me and you're like, hey, I'd like to I think to it was do just like, like minute. I don't I don't think you were like, whoa, dude. No, you were like, yeah, like I you know, my music's getting kind of big. I wanted to like work with you and do some stuff. And I was like, oh, all right. And then like I like I would just believed you. And yeah. then I was like, you know what? One day I was just I was like Can you imagine if I was just lying? Right, like, like I, I was just like, go look and you got like six streams. Yeah. It's like, oh yeah. shit. Like all these views are just like your family watching yeah. the podcast. <laughs> no, yeah. but like I went to go look and it was like, I just saw like millions of streams and I was like, people like this stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I didn't I get it either. To I didn't content f- too. Like I, 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 I didn't you know, get it either though. I mean, I, I, but Hey, you found your niche crowd, right? Like there's someone, there's something out there for everyone. Basically what I was saying is, uh, that I, started doing this like indie pop wave mm-hmm. and even with my like disco shit I'm yeah but like, that shit was actually kind of fire it's it's like people like i could tell that i and i i don't really think about this sometimes because i'm just in the zone and i'm just like posting shit and like changing my sound evolving learning whatever trying to try new things but 
I think about like my early shit and how like goofy it was and like the fact that I'm actually able to like strive this far off the path but still like have people listening is actually kind of fire because not every like artist can like make you can go experimental with it yeah like break away from the mold like Ugh. there are some artists that have it because what it really is and i think this actually comes back to it this is going to sound kind of sappy i think they're in it for you not for the music i think nowadays honestly like because like fans could be like so like involved in an artist they yeah. are fans of the artist and like there's so many like nowadays I mean, like, well actually yeah that's a great hold on really quick that's a great point think about when we were kids yeah like i you know you actually just I, dm yeah you couldn't uh, just like or, or like you weren't like i mean honestly being in a discord server with yeah. an artist is closer than we ever got to being near like little wayne or yeah, like yeah, you know yeah. what i mean like I mean, it's, yeah. it's crazy the connectivity that has come about in this and i mean it's crazy because even like like old school artists like there are um I don't remember when I was when, when I don't remember when I was setting up some stuff. There was like a, a a fan Discord for like one of them. I don't remember who one of the rappers from back when we were growing up like has a Discord and actually talks to his community on there. Like it's crazy. Like yeah. they can get so easily involved now with their communities, and it's just. I, like, I think there's like a. My opinion on that is that I feel like there's this like, it's like a good and bad thing. I would have loved to be an artist with some notoriety back in like the nineties because like there was so much more mystery and like right. now, like there's some artists, like there's this one dude I I've been a fan of for years. His name is wintertime. He's a rapper and he, uh, he like doesn't post anything. He doesn't talk on, on social media. You won't, you won't catch him on does Twitter. Like drop songs. He just, but he barely even does that and he hasn't dropped in years, but when he does, it's like, Oh shit. You know? It's like that mystery. It's like, where has he been? What has he been and, doing? Is this the whole like, time? People come out with like, uh, like there'll be like rumors. Like, oh, I think he's like in a cabin in Alaska or <laughs> working on his album. And it's been three years. He was out hunting moose for the last two years. Yeah. And now he's, he's, he's obtained enough moose meat. To... Yeah. Cause he's like, he's like got this like winter aesthetic. Like, oh, he's whatever. But winter's um, coming. Yeah. Oh, that's funny. I actually just watched the first episode of Game of Thrones. Are you getting into it? I'm, I'm I like love about, how I'm fast like, we switch gears. <laughs> yeah. Well, winter is coming. I was like, I just thought of Game of Thrones. Yeah, thing. that's what I was making a joke to. Like a yeah. yeah. We're like, we're we're a really good uh, team to have a podcast because of ADHD. Yeah. Because that's why. I'm going over here. Dude, I'm going over here. That's why, like, when we finish recording, we're like, oh, and that's oh four, shit. and that's four hours. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. It's like, all right, guys, we'll see you. And that was oh, it's yeah. tomorrow. And it, it's funny too because it. When Bro, I, like when we get famous enough, 24 hour podcast. Pull an iCarly, the iCarly challenge. What was that? That was an episode, right? They'd do like a 24 hour webcast yeah, or something. Except they didn't actually do no, it. No, because Freddie's battery died or some shit. Well, like, I was saying more like because it was like fake, but like, yeah. He, his... Oh, yeah, right. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Well, yeah, because and then and then uh, Carly, she was like trying to. Yeah, I just nerded out there. Dude, you know. Yeah. <laughs> you know, um. <laughs> Fucking no! Wait, hold on. Did You're you... getting into Game of Thrones. Are you getting into well, Game of Thrones? I'm, yeah, but I don't got much to say about it because like... no, I haven't watched it either. So if you're getting into it, this could be oh, a thing. Okay, because that's kind of an older show. And I, I, I did that thing. It was like the Stranger Things, where like I didn't get into it because I knew the second I was like, so I started watching Game of Thrones. I'd have like thirty of my friends piling on me to be like, ah, you know. So I am on the first episode, mm. and you know pretty good like i it's like there's so many seasons and there's so much there's so right. much to go it feels into. like you have to it's like you're getting into it like they, like ah oh, okay they like and i could tell what type of show it is they like start you it's not the type of show that's going to break everything down right off the bat where it's like oh, God, okay no. here's the bad guys here's the good guys this is the plot this is the arc this is what they're trying to do like you get that there's like these these zombies that are like that come out in the winter time you get that there's these like the seven kingdoms and the queen or the, the prince and the princess or yeah. Yeah. Whatever. And all, all that medieval shit. And it's, it's fire. <laughs> all that medieval bullshit. Yeah. And it, it's good. Like, and I, I'm going to, I'm definitely going to watch it, but all right, um, I'm going to do this. You're my guinea pig. Hit the three episodes. You know how they always say that? Watch three episodes. Yeah. And then, like you give me your opinion. Cause I trust your opinion on shows. But did you, did you watch though yet? Any of game of Thrones? None. 
I, I've seen like the internet stuff, the pop culture references, people posted like like memes that was about it. Like I've seen that stuff. Yeah. So I know there's enough about it that I was I'm on the edge. I'm teetering on the like I should like this show. I should get into it. So like, but I know if yeah. you're like if you fuck with it, like I'll I'll start. And I've found out something about myself. Uh, you've seen my office set up now. Mm-hmm. Where I've got the monitors like all splayed out. I found out when I'm working here, if I just put like a show on right here, like I watched all of One Punch Man season one and two in two days. If you're working on something? Yeah, I was just sitting there like working <sighs> away and then I, I had like it shit. open up here and I would look over once in a while. And especially if it's something I've seen or it, yeah, if it's something it where I like. Like if I'm watching like Workaholics or like The Office right, it's something or like, like noise. something funny that like is like, it's it's like mindless. Yeah. Well, then, it was crazy because I never saw season two. So I was worried. I was like, oh, I don't know if I could have that playing because I'm going to get like, but like it actually worked. I guess my brain is ADD enough that I can keep glancing over and like put together the pieces mm-hmm. of what I'm missing. Game of Thrones is not that type of show though. Uh, no, I, was I feel, watching, like, dude, I feel and... like you look away for a second and you're going to miss someone dying. No, I, I walked away to the kitchen and I was like doing something and I, I all of a sudden I come back and because it, it's not even that like, because it's slow. That's something that if anyone's watching that is going to get into it, it's, it's like moves like super slow, the show. Like, but in a good way, like it's entertaining, but they'll do a thing where they're like talking about this situation and then they go 45 minutes on another tangent and then the last part comes back to shit. You're like, oh fuck, I forgot that guy was even oh, doing that's right. that, that shit. That, over that there. person exists. So like you get into this thing where like there's something evolving and then like, especially the first episode where like, I don't know any of these people. Right. So all of a sudden I come back and it's like now... It's it's about a whole other kingdom because there's so many characters and shit. What so. have, have you seen that one? There's that one TikTok I think it was. I I, I think I saw it in a Call Me Chris video. Shout out to her because I love her. But mm. uh, it was like she was watching it and it was like the guy watching a YouTube video and it was like someone like just kind of starting out the video and being like, "Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel." Blah blah blah. And he's like, "All right, so we're gonna start off really simple." And the guy like clicks and drags, like like clicks like five seconds forward, and then it's like his house is on fire, and he's outside, his computer's exploding. He's like, oh, "Everyone's dead!" He's like, "What did I miss?" And he goes back like a couple seconds. He's like, "All right, so anyways," and like you can't find where like oh, yeah. it's like you skip forward like five seconds, and you miss like some major yeah. just like because especially thing. when it's like an hour long, and like when you move it a little bit, yeah, it, like, it's like you just like because I'm used to that, and then I'll like go watch a video on YouTube, or it'll auto play the next one. And yeah. um, some of the content I watch is like just I'll have like tutorials open about shit I'm not even working on. I just like yeah. listening to people do stuff, and uh, it'll pull up like. It starts playing and it's like this guy like we're gonna build this island in this game and i'm like oh okay and then i like hit the arrow key but because like the arrow keys based on how long it is i don't realize because it just starts auto playing that this so, is like a three hour video <laughs> so you watch youtube when you go to sleep right like yes do you ever okay because there's those memes where like um you're watching a video and then you wake up and it's like a guy building a hut or some shit yeah, or, like some like, weird shit's going on <sighs> I've actually had that happen where I've fallen asleep. Because it's like eight hours of like YouTube it, yeah. algorithm. It just going on, off. Unhinged. And it's so interesting to go back into your history and yeah. watch it happen. Because like I went to sleep watching Game Grumps once. Mm-hmm. Uh, you've seen Game Grumps. You know mm-hmm. what they are. They play video games. They talk just like this. Yeah. I fucking woke up to like... It, it, no, it's funny. It was. It was those guys, the primitive craft shit. things. Yeah. And I was like, how does it get to that? You know, like what happened? But to- I like went to look and I was like, okay, let's see. And I like went through the history and here's my Game Gross video. Yeah. Or another Game Gross video. Or here's one featuring like this person goes to that person's channel. Another one of this person featuring this person goes to that person's channel, yeah. this person. And then it, it ended up going to like, it's funny because it was like, I could still see these were people I watch. So I could still see it was trying. I was like, I'm going to keep you interested. But then like. At the fourth hour. It's like all of a sudden it, it just trips and falls into like the Alice in Wonder rabbit hole. Yeah. Like it went from legitimately. It got to like. Um, it got to. Uh, oh, I forget his name. Uh, Spiffing Brit. Okay. I watch a lot of his. It got to one of his videos. Yeah. Next video. Yeah. It was like building a town. And balancing like the budget of a, an ecosystem, like real life, like like civics. 
Okay. But it's because spiffing like, Brit. What is it called? Civics. Yeah, like civics, like civ- civic engineering and stuff, like oh. uh, like stuff like that. It was like like you know, oh, we only have five thousand dollars to make this road happen. How do we do that? But the thing is, spiffing Brit does a lot of economy games mm-hmm. and like stuff like that. So I think that's why it did that. So it's kind of fun to like work through how the YouTube algorithm is doing this. Yeah. But it was like just such a hard goddamn pivot because like you could have yeah. went to like. At least like a simulation video game, like some Sim City shit or something. But just a hard pill. Let's go to real life. Like all yeah. of a sudden, you wanna you wanna be a real life civil engineer and you wanna like build roads, right? And it's like, n- no, not really. And then like from there, because it, it was like, then it started getting into like how, like, doc, how was this highway built? This cr- look at these five crazy highways <laughs> that'll blow your mind. And then it got yeah. into like these primitive guys building. Yeah. And it was just watching like as soon as it those videos get. Millions and millions as soon probably as it's because going, of that. And then it's like, as soon as it's going, it's like it hits a little bump. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, <laughs> yeah. Like, it's one thing. And I, 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 I'm not going to lie though. Like, now I kind of watch that stuff. Yeah. It's entertaining, dude. I love seeing that. Like, when they, when they build like the, the irrigation canal. Yeah. They, like, build, I, they like find a river and then they connect it. And then all of a sudden, it's so like, now it's filling their pool. I'm, I'm curious which ones you've watched. There's Man, there's a channel to be avoided. Uh huh. Um, it's 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 an interesting topic. It's a bit. It's not political. It's just a hot take. It's about like the like because you know obviously they're building these primitive huts, right? Uh huh. And it's like, well, then what? You ever wonder that? Like they build these big things in the forest. Like, well, now what? Well, I can never tell if that's some place that they utilize or if it's a place that they just build for youtube videos right well so the, there's a couple channels where it is the same place and they just tear down what they built and rebuild another so one. they're like they're they're saying that like it's not safe for the it's not good for the environment there's a cause... channel i won't say there's uh-huh. a channel that it has been proven and they literally have campaigns against them because they're cutting down trees and shit right? no they actually use real concrete they mix stuff on screen to make you think they're just mixing mud, but then they actually go off screen, use real concrete, and then they leave the concrete bags and their tools and like all that shit, plastic bags, just there. The dark they don't side clean of it. Up. it. Yeah, wow. it's, like, it's dude, it is. It's like that, but it's like only one channel that does it. There was some channel that exposed them and went into all this. Yeah. And the worst part is, since they use real concrete, it doesn't break down over time. So like, right. there have been people that have gone back, found the buildings they made, and there's like dead animals. Because they ah. fall in there and they can't get out. Damn. So it's crazy. It's like yeah, it's like the dark side. They it's like you just yeah yeah, they, yeah, they don't they don't uh, I guess they don't um It's just that channel though. Like there's only one channel that does it like that they know fucked of. Fucked up. Yeah. Okay. Cause like other ones are pretty responsible. I watched this one that I really love. It's this guy out in Australia. Mm. He's kind of the guy that pioneered it. He was the first channel to do that, and then all these other channels kind of rode his coattails and got bigger than him. Okay. Uh, but that's because they did that kind of fancy shit where, like, they really did break the laws of nature. If you're mm. building with, like, fucking mud and water, you're not going to build a mansion. You have I to have... Yeah, yeah. I didn't know they know? used concrete, though. That's kind of fucked yeah, up. Yeah, well, because there's scenes where you'll see them and they the, this one channel and they're like, they start building it and putting it up. And then it's like they start smoothing it. And then it looks, like, perfect. And you're over there like... It's like, it's like, it's like, I, it gave me an uncanny valley. I was like, there's no fucking way. Like I saw that. And as someone that has worked with concrete and also tried to build shit with just like sand on a beach, I was uh-huh. like, no, I got to look into this. There's no fucking it's way like they you just to it, did that. And they like, it's like a seven 11. Right. Just like, <laughs> like, we built the seven 11. Yeah. Like out of mud. But no. So there is a guy though. I watched that. I really liked. He's out mm-hmm. in Australia. Mm-hmm. He, um, he does like he actually builds right in the 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 down under as he calls mm-hmm. it right in his backyard yeah. like it's like he hikes a mile out into the forest it's all built there it's like desert um, right no no it's it's jungle there's okay. still jungle out there uh but he he does it right there a mile away from his place and he even says full disclaimers he's like this is not my lifestyle this is not I'm not surviving. These are not survival tips. I have a beautiful three-story home. I work at a high-level entry job. He's like, this is for fun, and I record it to show you guys these things. He, he, it's, it's, he's like an anthropologist, so he does this because this is what humans did. His job is to study the evolution of humans and society. Yeah. So he goes out, and he, and he actually does that. He's like, he's like, this is my. He builds. Like, he takes some sticks, sticks it down, puts some leaves on it, right? Mm-hmm. And then, like next episode he goes off and finds like a termite hill and he starts grabbing the termite hill because it's clay. They use clay. 
He oh. starts mixing it with water, and then he throws some mud in and mixes it, and then like it turns into this stuff. And then he starts slapping it on the wood of his house and builds a, an adobe hut. Yeah. And then he's like, he figures out how to make bricks using uh-huh. like some wood. So he makes some bricks, and then all of a sudden he's building like bricks. Like he's actually evolving, and he shows not you che- like he's not cutting, cheating. No, cutting he anything. shows you like getting, and then like at one point he found a spot. He's poking it, and he pulls out like he chunks. found a what. Like a spot, like an area that's like a spot. Okay, okay. And he starts poking it and he starts pulling out chunks and then he like washes it and you can see it's kind of shiny. Mm. So he's like the next episode, he builds like a fan blower and he starts melting that and gets metal. And then a he starts fan making. Blower. Yeah, he like, uh, well, because you know, if you melt metal, it needs to be, you can't just use fire. You have to like, yeah. you know, add air right, to it. Okay. So it's like he stuck a stick with wood planks mm-hmm. that he built like in a little, uh, you guys can't see my hands. He built like a little adobe kind of like shape like this. Yeah. And he stuck a stick with planks and it had one little outlet. So he made like a bellow and he would do this with his hands and it would flap air in and blow the fire. You know, so he does this. And it's really, I love his channel because mm-hmm. it's like, he's legit. He's yeah. sitting out there doing this legit. Like he even showed this really cool thing about like how to make shrimp traps. And he caught some prawns out there and like how he used like a hot rock to drop in water and cook it. And like, it's really interesting because his is like literally how did humans evolve? Yeah. Like what did yeah. we do? Yeah. It, it is interesting. Um, the, that reminds me of like, like talking about the fake shit is like uh, that one dude, um, man versus wild about how like, oh, so yeah. many, was that, was that Bill Grylls? No, Bear Grylls. There was, uh, I think that was, wasn't it? Man versus wild, Bill Grylls. There was like two dudes. I it forgot. was like survivor man. And then there was man versus wild. There was a couple shows. Bear Gr- Yeah. But it like, People were like so surprised when it came out that it was fake, and I'm like, dude, yeah, like, what did you do? You not know how filming shit works? Like, you thought this guy was? It it even says, "Oh, I survive alone in the wild," and then it's him walking with cameras following him. What did you think? Yeah, (laughs) like, there's one of okay, so I don't know if it's Survivor Man or which. There's one of them that like claims he's like more more real because he films it on his own. Right, um, right, because he'll like. Yeah, I know, and he's like, you said he's like, you see him setting up the camera, and he and walks stuff. three miles, and he's got to walk all the way back to grab the camera, and like, yeah, yeah. But yeah. the thing is, and this is like, they should have this, but like, there's still a medical tent, there's still like a helicopter. Yeah, what do you think this guy's <laughs> just gonna like die in the wild, and no one's yeah. gonna, you know what I mean? Like that was like more to just show like, oh, right, mate, you're gonna drink your piss right here. This guy has a lot of nutrients. Are gonna eat a lizard. Right, you because know. but that's the thing. Like those shows, I think people got so up in arms, and it never made sense to me because the tips that they were giving, a fair amount of them were right, or yeah. would help you. But like, what do you expect then? This guy to actually like live out there? You're still getting the content, you're getting the information, but yeah, it's Hollywood magic. Like if All even shows if this dude fake, goes bro. to sleep at a fucking hotel at the end of the night, what do you care? He still provided that's you. That's how you know that like. People are so funny where they like if if they see it on a screen. It's like when people read anything they believe or believe anything they read. Like right. they so watch they see it on they, a screen. They're like it like, must be real, but it's like wow. Don't you know that at reality TV is all staged? It's all. I mean, I had a friend who was gonna be on a reality TV show, and he it was gonna be about him and his like family, and they were gonna do it. And then like the re, the I think it was gonna be Discovery Channel. So Discovery Channel came in. Yeah, they have all those shows. Well, well that or TLC also has It was going to be shows. like, yeah, it was going to be one of those like Discovery, like it was going to be like a reality one type of, of like channels, American yeah. Pickers type shit. Okay, you know? yeah, yeah. Which all that shit's fake. That's like AMC, TLC, like all those channels. And and he was saying that like he had this idea, he pitched it, they loved it, blah, blah, blah. And then they came in with this huge contract as thick as like a book. And they were like, saying how they were going to change everything. They wanted to make his brother an asshole and his dad a piece of shit. And like, they wanted to make this guy have this love interest with this girl and this guy. Yep. And they create a story from your life. That's complete, completely fabricated because they have to have good ratings. Like they can't, well, yeah, because as much as people sit there and go like, my life would make a great TV show. No, it wouldn't. No. Cause it's it really cause wouldn't. TV is, is so much more fabricated and so much more like, because shit would have to line up so perfectly for you to get well, that like TV yeah, drama to your life. Yeah. Cause you know? you know how there's like, it's like every episode has to leave you off on a cliffhanger and then there has to be a guy that no one likes and there has to be a love interest and all these things that keep you hooks. Like if your show doesn't have that, they'll write it in. But that, but they actually, 
they turned it down because they were like, this is not our creative direction. We don't want to make a fucking, you know. Yeah, it wasn't supposed to be that. Yeah. Which and, props to them. Because yeah. Because most people wouldn't. They'd be like, oh, how much money? Yeah, all right. My brother could be an asshole. You know? Well, that's the thing too, is like, I don't think they were even offering that much. I think it was like one of those things that they were, they could pass. Like if I'm sure if it was like, if we were talking like, you know, seven figures, they'd be like, Maybe like most hey, people hey, would just Jimmy, get... you're a fuckhead now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but, uh, that just sounds like a, no offense to any Jimmy's. That just sounds like a, like a name of like someone that could be an asshole. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Jim, like J- Jim. Jimbo, Jimmy, you know, Jimbo, like, Jimbo. Just, Jimbo. Just, specifically Jimbo, Jimbo from, uh, what's his name? Oh no, it's not. It's Jimmy's dad calls him Jimbo. Hey, Jimbo. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Jimmy Neutron is a piece of shit. Dude, yeah, exactly, dude. Over oh, there making car. Fuck. No, that making honestly though, and... like, have you ever watched uh, Jimmy Neutron like as an adult? Yeah, he's no, a it's, snarky little dude, prick. It changes your perspective rewatching some of those shows, like again, because you see like you see it from like the other perspective, like the adult's point of view, or like the other person. Like you could put yeah. yourself in someone else's shoes. SpongeBob is a good show to watch as an adult. No, SpongeBob, dude, SpongeBob rings. I'll be ninety and I'll still be watching SpongeBob. Yeah, I'll be over there in my wheelchair. Yeah, 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 yeah. all right, Grandpa. You know, <laughs> yeah, right. like the fucking evil. Be like, I'll be quoting mind. Mermaid Man at that point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good shows, good shows. No, but like, um, I, I, I think SpongeBob though is a vibe because when you're a kid, you vibe with SpongeBob. For and sure. I know the internet says this. And when you're an adult, you vibe with Squidward. Yeah, <laughs> you're like. Well, you like fuck get, my coworkers. You get, like you yeah, get it. Yeah, you could you could see why. That's um, that's the thing that makes a good show though. Like if you can, if every if someone from every walk of life can put themselves in a character's persona. Yeah. Right. Like think about it. Right. If you watch SpongeBob and you're super silly and random, you're gonna be like, oh my god, I'm totally like SpongeBob. And maybe like your friend would be like, oh, I'm totally like Patrick because I'm a lazy sack of shit yeah. or whatever. Or like, you know, you're, someone else is like, I love picking pennies up off the ground and sticking it to the poor people. I'm totally Mr. Krabs. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Like someone can relate to every character in a show. So like if, sure. if that's something that can happen, it becomes a successful show because if someone sees, and that kind of goes into that reality TV thing that was like, I never understood it because like I like shows where I can kind of relate something to my life or yeah. see myself as that person. And with reality TV, like, I've just never been a fan of it. And I think no. it is because it's just so outlandish. Like, I can't think of that as, like, something I could see. I found SpongeBob more relatable of things that might happen in my life than reality. a reality TV show. Yeah. A fucking cartoon sponge at the bottom of the ocean with a squirrel with a fishbowl on her head that does karate related to my life more than something called reality tv yeah yeah it's never it's never reality but um, it's just weird and you know what might blow some people's minds i don't know if anyone knows this what i'm not a hundred percent sure so i'm not gonna overly stipulate it uh-huh. I mean, you might know though like so you know when you watch like i know actually you know what i do know this because i read an article hmm. the avengers uh-huh. right almost like more than i don't remember the exact percent but more than 50 percent of the lines delivered on screen are dubbed in the avengers yes because of think about it with like the filming locations they're at with being outside like uh, not all the events specifically like it was specifically endgame because of all the they did a lot of or not endgame which one's the one where they had like wakanda in it a lot was that infinity war or endgame I don't remember. It was like those open field scenes because okay. it's really hard to get good like audio capture from the boom mics right. and everything with the wide shots. So like in that movie specifically, like more than 50% of the lines. And I remember that because I thought about it and I was like, that's like fucking nuts. More Where than you... half of that movie. Yeah. Like they weren't talking when they were talking. That right. was all in post. When, wh- how did that, how did you just think of that? What do you mean? Where did you like? Oh, we were talking about movie magic. Oh, were we? Yeah, because you were like saying like people would be so surprised to find out like that's not how it actually is. Oh, and stuff. yeah, yeah. And like that's like... that's the big thing is like that kind of blew my mind because I never yeah. thought about that. I never thought like like this person like literally isn't saying that right now. Yeah, yeah like yeah. it's like they're recording it later. And actually, I really thought of it because of the the stuff with the music video we were talking about. Yeah, well, they they do that in movies all the time, and they I think. In older movies, you'd be able to tell a little bit, like yeah, but like um, newer stuff, man, they get really good at it. Because I've seen I've seen behind the scenes of how they do it, 
they have a big screen. They're like in the editor's room. They got the mic, and then they're like, they're like saying watching it, it right? They're, yeah, they're watching yeah. it. And they're also most times they're always like acting out. So if they were like jumping over something, like ugh, ah, uh, you know, like they yeah. like make that movement because they got to get all those sounds later. Yeah, like it's really crazy. And I think this is the thing is it's kind of that mind blowing thing. Like that's where we're just talking about like people being like, what did you think this guy was actually doing that? Like, I think if people really actually, that's what you're mentioning is like people get so like into this TV thing and talk about mm-hmm. reality TV and how it's so fake. It made me think about it. Like most people don't do this because they just watch TV. They don't even think about it. But you've yeah. ever been watching a show and they just kind of start thinking about it and you're like, this isn't real. Like, it's so good, right? It sells it so well. Like, I was, I've was i been watching New Girl. No, I'm, yeah. Yeah. I've been watching New Girl with Mrs. Suit. Great show. And I'm just, like, so into it. I'm like, wow, this bunch of friends. Oh, yeah. These people don't even know each other. This isn't a real situation. This isn't a real apartment. This is all fake. Yeah. But it's, like, it's so just well but done. Like, but the thing is, is, so, movies I get like that. With TV shows, it's, like, New Girl, for example. Uh, Workaholics does a good job of this. Like, well, there's... In- they're uh, all real. They're friends in real life. In all, sunny in Philadelphia too. Always sunny. Yeah. Uh, well, Mac is married to D, and then Charlie's married to the waitress. Yeah. Well, because that's the thing. Like with TV shows, yeah, there, you get a chance to you know you these see, people. And, but like, there's this glimpse of like reality with the re, like the inner workings of the relationships with the characters. But it's like the situation is fake and like all, yeah. all just random. But like, it's crazy when you. It, it was and the big thing of this was when you did send me that video and they yeah. got like the floor creaking looked fucking when perfect when your friend was walking out on stage yeah. and stuff and it's like that wasn't really there but it's like that's crazy because people it don't think about that like perfect, footsteps bro. in sh- movies yeah. aren't real yeah they, they, they can't record that, that. that's like there, there's some guy that puts shoes on his yeah. hands and sits there and watches it on screen it has a mic just like this and as they're walking he's going like yeah. stomping his feet on something like like is his it, hands. What, was it called folly work? Folly work. Folly. It's actually a big thing I got into because when I do game design, mm-hmm. video games too. Video games are even worse because there's yeah. no sound. That's not yeah, real. Yeah, you have to completely design everything. Everything from the ground up. If you're standing there and you could hear the grass rustling and the wind blowing and your character breathing, all of that's fake. Yeah, but like it's not it's, fake. It's real. Well, it's like it's recorded afterwards. But yeah. it's like that, that couldn't have come from that. Right. Everything you experience... It's like a weird thing to dissect because people just look at something and they're like, cool, finished product. Yeah, no well, because as humans... Behind the scenes shit. Right, like, because as humans, though, like, especially with video games as the medium. Yeah. Like, you know, movies, it's like, yeah, you do some stuff, you automatically get some sound no matter what. Yeah. But, like, us as humans, well, you guys as I mean, yes, us as humans mm-hmm. totally, like, live our lives hearing, you know, the things. We're used to that. We're like, oh, yeah. that made a noise. You know, mm-hmm. like, we think that. But, like, in a video game... It doesn't make a noise. Yeah. So it's kind of this crazy, like, uh, you can't underappreciated make, It's like you can't thing. make the game make a noise. You no. Have to Someone has to record it, it yeah. and then you have to tell the game, hey, play that tap noise when that thing touches that thing. Yeah. And yeah. it's so underappreciated. Like, there are these teams of people. Yeah. Um, I, maybe we brought, maybe I brought this up. I don't remember. Hmm. But, like, in Halo, um, some in the newer one, I think, Infinite, is that the newest one? I do. That so. fell off hard after like what we played on Xbox. Yeah, dude, but, like, I fell off crazy hard on Halo, big time, big time. But like, there's these animals that run around that are like these little animals that grunt and stuff. Not yeah. the grunts, but they're like wildlife that run around. Mm-hmm. They just brought in like two pugs to the studio and started right. recording these pugs and then pitch changing it. Like the weapons are all like, they put like dry ice on a piano and they just stepped on the piano wires with the dry ice and it went like. <laughs> I mean, oh, like these right, noises. Cause they, right, because like the futuristic shit. Yeah, so it's yeah. like crazy. There's like a team of like 20 people just like... St- it, it, it was funny. They showed their studio and it was just like shit thrown everywhere. Right. Like stuff Fences knocked over. There's like a guy in the background going... <laughs> clapping something over well, the, here. There like. was something <laughs> I saw about how in like the first Star Wars movie... The, the guns, like the lasers were like, uh, they oh, were the electric wire. Uh, like it was two, like when you hit oh, like an yeah, electric. Oh yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, and then yeah. they just pitch change it. The, the lightsaber hums was like, um, they turned on, it was some film that you don't even have anymore in studios that literally you turn it with, yeah. and they just put the mic really close to it and added fuzz. Dude, you know what tweaks me out when I think about editing and all that back behind the scenes shit is like, Music and movies, like back in the day, when there was no editing softwares, 
Dude, I, I watched a whole documentary. I don't know what I was smoking, dog. I was sitting there for It's an interesting, hour. though. I was like, whoa, these people would literally have to watch the movie. They'd have to watch all the scenes. And then they would take the film strip, mm-hmm. put it on a thing, have to cut it, and then take that strip and then connect it to the other piece to like so like when you're editing on yeah and you like Premiere t- well, okay I don't know if you've ever actually so thought weird. of this I have a buddy that's in IT and he mm-hmm. calls me old as a joke mm-hmm. because I make him realize things he never thought of mm-hmm. think about will you edit what do you edit in uh I, you know if I'm I do very very minimal editing yeah but so like, like the one Vegas. time I saw you editing okay what does the cut tool look like in Vegas out of curiosity scissors yeah it's all it's all like Right, but in Premiere, the cut tool is a razor blade, and it's called okay. the razor tool. Right. When they used to do film strips, they'd lay it out, and the razor blade was the perfect width to take it and just go like that and push down and get a clean, right. straight edge cut. Right. So it's funny because there's like, like little like nuggets of like like yeah history. like the old school like what they used to do. That's why the yeah. tool looks like that. Like my buddy, uh, at one point, I showed him a floppy disk. He's mm. so young, he doesn't know what a floppy disk is. Yeah. He's like I, that, like I don't Gen really. Z. I like no. But you know, but I, never like, I showed one. him that and he was like, that was a real thing. The site, the save icon was real at one point. But, but was it like, like used as like a flash drive? No, it was like a, like a disc. Like you, you pop it in. The disc was inside the floppy? Yeah. Disc. There's like, so in the floppy, there's like a little metal piece, which is what hooks in. I, it was I like remember a like cellophane seeing disc. Um, like around my house when I was super young. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but like that, he didn't even think those were like a real thing. He thought right. that was just like an icon someone came up with. Like he didn't know those actually physically existed. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, I used to own like, this was started. I was like, yeah, I had like a thing. It was like a tray and you could mm. open it. And it was just like, like lined with rainbow colors of them. And he was like, wow, you're old. Yeah. And I was like, uh, whoa, it, it's, excuse it's, me. It's weird. Cause I like have situations in my like generation of like, uh, well, we're kind of the same generation. Yeah, we're kind of in that boat. Where we're like, we yeah. hit it. We're like, there's those kids younger than us that are yeah. like, that was a thing. Like, they're like, like it's what, weird we're five what year, the fuck's a landline? We're five years apart, but I feel like we're somehow kind of like in the same. We hung out a lot. I think that's what it yeah. is. Because like, like anything I experienced, I immediately went to you and was like, yeah. dude, you, like, you know. Like, but, remember the, the fucking, uh, the CDs. Like, I always had CDs around yeah. my house. I always had floppies around my house. So you saw them from that. So even though you yeah. were, you could have been young enough that you wouldn't have known, like, just because people around you and, like, we grew up in the same area. And I, um, one thing that I've been running into a problem of, of, like, being, like, where it's, like, I don't use paper anymore is uh, I don't have a printer. So I had to, I had to, like, borrow one <laughs> yeah, from my it. dad, right? Yeah. And I was at the dog park and I had, like, uh, they, they like need you to print something out and then There's put it the, on your car. Oh, it, okay. Just like, just to show that you Oh, so have, damn, hit me up. I got three of them. Have the, one? I mean, I have one now, but oh, okay. if you want to give me another one. <laughs> yeah. Like, I mean, I don't know why. <laughs> but I, I love you, that. You like, have, like, I always a, use another printer. It's like. Do you have like a portable one though? Yeah. Mine's battery operated. It can actually, I could bring it in. Like you can unplug it. It's Bluetooth, wireless, everything. They're not even that expensive though. It's like only 120 bucks at okay. Office Max. Because this guy was like. Yeah, like, you know, go ahead and, and, you know, just print it. And I was like, I don't have a printer. It was a cop. Oh, is it the same guy? What, the, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, okay. There's, honestly, so I've been going there, like, fucking damn near every other day. We should we should give a little backstory. I went with him to the yeah. to the dog park, and there was a guy that told us how, like, to get the permit and all yeah. that. So that's why I was like, was it the same guy? But so are there more than, like, just that guy? It's like a different guy every time. So oh, okay. I, like, so when at first... I remember I told you, I was like, I was kind of debating like not paying for the annual thing. Cause it's like, are they going to really be here or whatever? But they definitely enforce it. And that guy didn't get out of his car, but that was because we were the only people there and he was just like sitting there. But like, so a couple days after that day, I'm at the park. I don't have my ticket or my, my card yet or whatever, the sticker. And, uh, he, this cop pulls up and he's like walking around. They like enforce the shit out of it. Oh, yeah, like because they like it's like an easy ticket. Yeah, yeah, it's an easy ticket, and it's funny because every time like you see the cop, like you'll see a couple people walk to him because they're like doing what I was doing. I was like, oh, I don't know, I, don't, I had no idea, and I was like, I'm not, I'm not gonna play this game of like having. It was only it wasn't even that bad. Though. Fifty bucks for a year, yeah, not too bad. That's not bad for a whole and you year. Get, you get six parks. Yeah, I didn't know all this. Of them in the area. One of them actually is uh, apparently it's there's like a lake. 
Oh. So I got to check it out make sure it's not, like, disgusting. But, like... I mean, all lakes are disgusting, but... <laughs> yeah. Um, but I... Uh, so something interesting happened the other day that, that was weird that I wanted to bring up in my neighborhood. Like, apparently, like, cars have been getting, like, broken into. Like, which is weird because, like... You, yeah, your neighborhood's not that kind of neighborhood either. No, it's not. It's It doesn't seem like, you know, that type of shit would happen. But apparently it's been happening. And uh, so three cars got stolen last week. From, oh, like the actual cars? Yep. I thought they were just like breaking in and taking stuff. No. So, well, okay. So this is this is interesting. So three cars got stolen. One got broken into. Uh, one, so two days ago, I what's, what is today? Thursday? So, um... I don't know. A couple of days ago, I forget when. I was driving home from the gym and I saw a car with like all the windows were shattered. And this was before I knew that like people were breaking in. And I was like, it's I didn't I didn't know what the fuck to think. I was like, oh damn, they must have got their shit broken into. Uh but then like apparently like um on you know how ring you could you could turn on the like the crime notifications? Yeah, yeah. I like I it, have those. It's a it's a big regret. It's, so it, it's funny because I actually always have them off. But for some reason, the other day, I got a notification. I was like, oh, do you want to turn this on? Now, I don't have the, the shit turned on. And I hope you don't either because this shit's kind of fucked. It's like, oh, I have it turned on. No, no, no. That's fine. But there's the other shit, the community thing. I have it turned on. I don't trust that because no, people can I, look through your ring. No, yeah. I, well, mine aren't set up anymore. Okay. I don't have my ring set up anymore. And you I moved to a different service. No, I just cameras. haven't set them up because like it's oh, the Nest right. thing. I'm a lazy piece of shit. No, yeah, I I don't like that because I <clears> saw like some videos about how uh, people that want to like rob your shit will like well, no, look they, at your they, ring. They cam. can't look. It's not they look through your ring. It's that you can post videos of like you, you can upload them straight to the community. They can't like literally access your ring. I feel like if. I feel like somehow because I used the community thing and it was like it went hand in hand with the crime thing. So there'd be like the like these crimes are happening, and then I'd go to the community side and it would be like, "Hey, about that crime that's happening in the area. This is pretty creepy looking." And then they'd post like their outdoor ring video of some guy walking up and trying to pull on the door right, handle right. and walking I, off. So I um I had that thing turned on and I saw the like the screenshots of people's cars getting broken into right, and um one of the pictures was of that car that was shattered right but in the background you could see me driving past <laughs> and i was like what the fuck <laughs> it was like, oh well i'm going to jail <laughs> no it was like it'd be so funny though if like if it was like a it was like a video or a picture and like i'm in the background like i'm like what's up <laughs> it was me no it was just my car and like i have limo tents you can't see shit but i was like i just did this it's like what the fuck because it was like I, I did that. I went to sleep, woke up, and then I saw it was like they must have three like come cars out. got stolen. Yeah, they must have come out in the morning and saw that with their car and posted the stuff online. Yeah, I like saw my car. It was so fucking random. It's kind of surreal though, right? Like it's like I was shit. like, what? Why am I on what? You well, know? like because my my rings are all inside, so I've set that. You can set if they're indoor or outdoor, yeah. which it then won't even prompt you to upload stuff because unless it's like literally like your house got robbed. Like mine were set up facing both entryways. Um, but like, and then we had one facing our backyard, mm -hmm. but that one. I need yeah. to put one in my house and I also need to put one on the garage. I would not go with ring. Really? I don't mind it. I do. I don't like, I like them in a pinch. They uh -huh. were good because it was, that's the problem though. They're cheap. Yeah. And that's why they're cheap. There's that monthly subscription. Yeah. There's all this extra shit. Like, if you it, actually go for a full system, like, dude, I should, you don't got a Costco membership yet, huh? No. Didn't they got you get some, whole, what, didn't you get some co uh, comedy, or not Comedy Central? Didn't you get some ComEd shit, though, when we were at the store? Oh, yeah, that never got set up. What do you um, mean? <clears throat> it was for AT&T, but we moved, like, pretty much a couple months later. So, like, when they were like, we're going to do this, I was like, wait, we're moving. Because I didn't know if we were going to move or not yet, remember? Oh, was it? So it never got set up, but you didn't like buy it though, right? No, no, I never paid anything for it. It was, it wasn't going to get, that's the thing is I just locked in the deal to start the contract, but with them, the contract doesn't start until you actually install the hardware. Okay. So I never even got to that point, but no, well, yeah, I should take you there because they have an entire aisle of home security and they have the really big bundles. So it's like six cameras, DVR, whatever. Like when I got my ring, I got it from there. So I got like 
it came bundled with like a year or two free of it. Mm-hmm. Um, but like now that it's up, I really don't feel like it's worth paying ten ninety nine because it's like they fu- dude they fucking pincer hold you. Mm-hmm. It's like oh yeah, uh, give us ten ninety nine for this for the cloud storage. It's like okay, what if I don't want to? Oh, you just can't see any of your recordings in your house or anything. Then I only pay like three for the cameras. It's more. The doorbell's cheaper. Oh, okay. All right. But like, if you have the cameras and you have multiple devices, you have to pay more. Yeah, I don't like that whole like thing about like. Because then you're fucked. Now you just got useless shit if you can't afford ten dollars. You know what I mean? There's other ones that are really good. I looked into that Costco has. There's like the uh, I don't remember what they're called, but we should go there and just like go look at some of them. I okay. One thing I don't like about my ring is that like my neighbor is like always doing yard work, right? (laughs) And just always like goes off past and. I want to be able to have it so that I could set up like face recognition so that they know like those aren't people trying to break in. Did, those did you like... do your uh, dead zone? Yeah, but it still picks it up because they oh, walk right past the game. Well, wait, line. because the ring doesn't have the fancy dead zone, right? Where you can draw. It's like you have to just select an area. For yeah, I, I need to like, I need to make it so that it like, is there any ones that like have like face recognition? Yeah. Yeah, There's I a need few that of them shit. that have that. Actually, I can build one that's got face recognition. Really? Yeah. Well, that's it. That's all my pet projects. That's the thing with. Uh, but uh, so I, I didn't. I didn't tell you this idea. What? So for the 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 little spoilers here for everyone, that new set. Uh-huh. One of my biggest ideas about it is kind of just converting my entire basement into that style of set, like I talked to you about. Uh-huh. So kind of imagine that where you just like go downstairs and it's like there's just like a bulkhead door. I uh-huh. mean, fake, I was like prop, not a real yeah, metal yeah. bulkhead door. Right. But one of the biggest things I want to have is, that's why I looked into it, was I built, uh, I want to build a little system that uses a webcam and face recognition. So like if me or you walk up to it, it'll just like open so we can walk in. <laughs> It'd be pretty cool. But yeah. Like I want to do that. Cause like, I mean, I, I, when I own my own house, this one will just be like a little set. When I own my own house, I am turning my basement into like a full set. Cause I want to be able to just like have whatever. just a cool ass spot. Dude, yeah, because I want to do that stuff we talked about with, like, the AR walls or, like, having the outside look, like, underwater. Yeah, like, yeah, that'd be yeah. chill. Like, can you imagine you just come to visit and I'm like, let's go to the dome. And then we, yeah. like, go down into the basement and we walk in and it's like, boom, you're just transported to, like, this whole new world. Yeah. Like, it's so chill. But anyway, um, go ahead and switch. I'd, that's why I looked into that, no, though, yeah, because yeah, the yeah. face recognition to open the door automatically. That would be sick. Um, no, I was just going to say, like, with those cars that got broken into, I was – uh. I was looking at the information on there and like, like, cause so like there was some shit about it. And, uh, apparently the, the three cars that got stolen all had their keys in the car and the car unlocked. Cause it's not Why? the eighties anymore. It's not that easy to hijack a car unless there's keys in the car. No, yeah, wait, but why would they leave? I mean, exactly. like, look, I live in a nice neighborhood, but I'd never leave my keys in my car. There's I no might point. leave my car unlocked. Yeah. Like, you know, well, okay, I park in the garage, so my car is always unlocked. But yeah, I've gotten my car broken into one time when I was I was uh, downtown and I was at a concert, and it was my old blue car, mm-hmm. and we had to get the windows replaced. But like I learned my lesson because I left uh, a bag in the front seat. The number one rule is like if you don't oh, want yeah, to get broken don't. into, don't <laughs> leave shit out. Do you remember the fucking video shoot? No, we, we, for your music video. Yeah. So his music video uses fake money. Right. And it looks really real. It's like movie prop money. And oh, it's right. like I have like 30 racks of fake $100 bills. And we were done filming with it. And we were going to go out and just hang out with the film crew. And I went to go put it in my car. And I just threw it on the pass. Oh, yeah. See, not thinking. Dude, and then I like, got like immediately wrong. stopped, turned around. I was like, wait. <laughs> but like it's almost Because like, that would have been a big fuck you, though. They fucking break in. And it's yeah. not even like real money. <laughs> that shit would be so funny, though. Can you imagine like thinking like, holy fuck, I just came up. And then you like, yeah, you like you really look like, at it. You're like, you're like what wait the a second. Fuck? It says play money on it. Yeah. You <laughs> could tell, though, right away when you grab it. Like you could you tell the, the quality you feel it. If that like paper like doesn't it, feel it like feels it. too papery. Like yeah. real money is it's paper still, but it's like you. It's linen. It, it's oh, got like okay. linen in the paper. Right, right. It's yeah. like got that. It's more fabric y or something. Yeah, it's like softer feeling than yeah. paper. It's weird. The thing is, though, the more we're using it, the more real it feels because the paper is starting to kind of get that like uncompressed feel. Mm-hmm. So it is actually, you know, the more we use it in videos. Yeah. 
Um, but yeah, that was that was something that I wanted to bring up. Um, also, I so I've been going to the gym. We all know this, um, but it's been like uh, it's been God damn it, it's been um, it's been fucking a week and a half. About well, I the twenty fifth, so like eight nine days, whatever. Um, but yesterday was hilarious because so. I'm like pretty antisocial, like uh, when it comes to going out, like in places that like I'm just like alone, right? Like if I'm at like a gym, like I'm pretty much AirPods in. We talked about this last time, like yeah. AirPods in. Don't talk to me. You have no reason to. Why would you? Uh, I'm like the type of dude that's gonna be like, huh? Like what'd you say? You know, I I just get in my zone, you know. So I'm working out, and uh, this dude, he, you know, he's like staring at me. And I'm like, okay, fair. And it's funny because anytime that someone stares at me in public, I instantly go to the thought of like, maybe they know my music and they recognize me. But that's like my... That's funny. Anytime someone stares at me in public, I instantly go to the thought, maybe they've realized I'm an octopus. Mm-hmm. Uh, I got an itch. Oh. So like... This dude's staring at me. And, like, the only reason I ever think that is because sometimes people are like, yeah, I like your music, blah, blah, blah. But they, right. like, they, sometimes people don't know how to articulate it. So I've gotten, like, dude, I've had people stare at me in public at, like, Targets or whatever. And they're, like, they message me. They're just, like, looking at me, right? And I'm, like, looking at them, like, hey, come to find out, like, later on Instagram, I'll get a DM. Dude, I, was that you at Target? It's either they don't, they don't believe it or they're like, or they can't, like, they're put nervous. A face to it or, they're yeah. like, they like, they're like, holy fuck, I couldn't come up to you. I was so, I didn't want to bother you. Anyway, and, and by the way, that does not happen a lot. So, like, but my, I am not famous. <laughs> yeah. My social anxiety, though, makes me think, like, oh, um, there's no way someone would be just like trying to, like, have a conversation with me as like a normal, like, uh, like human. Yeah, yeah. Like I'm like, like what the fuck? Being. Yeah. Um, but this dude, he's like staring at me and he, he's like, he's like, so to me, I see this, I, I see nothing, you know, I don't hear anything. Right. Cause I'm just, it's just simply him saying shit, my fucking, whatever I'm listening to. Um, and he's like, uh, I take my shit. I'm like, yeah, what's up? He's like, dude, you know, you want, you want a gym buddy? Like you want to like work out? And I'm like, eh, eh, I don't know. No, I'm, hard I'm, pass. Yeah, I'm, I didn't know what to say, but I'm like, Firm. Yeah, I'm like, maybe. And I'm like, me. Nee. Uh, and I was like almost done, right? Damn, but like, well, that's I, why you got to bring me. You'd be like, no, yeah. I already got one. Yeah, no, he was like, <laughs> but he was he was being cool, you know. And uh, I was like, yeah, I'm I'm straight. I don't really, I'm I'm almost done, whatever. But then once he walked away, like I was only like halfway through, so I like kept going and shit. And then he like walked away, and he's just like normal dude he's like my age and i was like huh it's interesting he just pulled up on me and was like yeah let's let's you want to fucking hang out and uh which is weird to me you know what i'm saying i don't i it's, don't it's... talk to people outside <laughs> of the people i know i don't just go up to someone and be like yo what's up dude you want to no, show yeah it's funny there's a i want you to finish this but there's just a funny thought i had about that well go on go tell oh, yeah, me yeah because okay, no, i'll no. tell you what happened after with this guy oh yeah i'm curious i just i think it's funny when there's situations like that where i'll have that same kind of thing where like i'm just like uh, yeah, I was at, like, I worked at GameStop and mm. this one guy that kept coming in one day was just like, do you want to like trade friend codes or like Xbox names or like mm. Steam codes or whatever, like to, to hang out, play some games? And I was just kind of like, um, like I said, yeah, because like, yeah. whatever. But then I kind of like, after he left, I was like, fucking weirdo, what are you going to ask me to like be your friend? What? And yeah. then I like thought about it and I was like, that's just how it happens. <laughs> I was like, oh, wait a second. That's right. The internet has spoiled me. Like, if you really think about yeah. it, right? Two guys are at a gym. One's like, yo, you want to work out? And you're like, yeah. yeah, okay. And then you guys start working out. Maybe you talk about common interests. I love football. Football! <laughs> you know, and then it's like, all of a sudden, you guys are friends. Like, that's how normal human beings before the early 2000s made friends. Because yeah. it wasn't the internet. It was like, you literally just met someone. Yeah. You took a chance. You said, you want to be buddies. Yeah. And it's like, you know, yeah. But like, it's just funny because I feel like that gets away from me too. Where I'm just like, why are you speaking to me, you heathen? And then it's like, yeah. oh, right. That's how we make friends. Yeah. And <laughs> like, I would, like, my brain was, I'm like, there had to have been a reason. Like, what did he think I wasn't working out good enough or whatever? It was like, he just probably, did he, he just, just literally want to? Yeah. Just... And, but what was funny is like, I'm, you know, so I'm finishing up and I'm go I'm in the locker room and I was like I wanted to do I wanted to try to do half an hour in the sauna which have you ever been in a sauna? I want to but I have not. Ooh, sh we should do it. Yeah, half an hour in Let's a sauna. Let's do the next podcast in the sauna. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking camera would melt. 
<laughs> no, I, uh, I, so like I fuck with the sauna pretty hard. It's like you don't burn as many calories as like people like thought you did at like because no, yeah, there there's that be whole a, misconception yeah, of like, yeah, you yeah. sitting there and you just melt the fat. Yeah, it's like that's it's, not. How it's it all works. water weight. But like if you work out and you have a good workout and then you go sit in there for a while, you feel the benefits. It helps my skin. It helps. I, say, I feel like it probably helps the muscles too. Cause yeah, it like winds them down a little and. Um, you, what they say, like now they have like a more educated understanding of it. You burn twice as many calories as how much you, so, okay. You take how much you weigh and then you calculate that of how much, how many calories you would burn sitting, which is like a calculator on it, which is only like, if you're above like 250, you're going to, you burn like about 60 calories in an hour just sitting. So you take that and you multiply it by two. So you burn about a hundred calories, okay. which isn't a lot, but like, it's a good, like add on to your workout. Cause you know, you burn yeah, maybe 500 M M&M and M later. Yeah, yeah. Literally, literally. And you know, you burn 500 to a thousand calories depending on your intensity. And then you throw that thousand on there. But, um, the water weight is nice because you, you do lose weight while you're losing weight like while you're losing body fat you're losing water weight and like yeah if, but you tend to gain that back pretty quick from just drinking water and yeah yeah, yeah. And yeah. Stuff. but i was in the sauna this the, the dude walks in <laughs> fancy and, you here uh, opens towel <laughs> yeah no i uh so i'm like so i'm like okay whatever i mean i don't hate the guy you know whatever he just asked me a single question yeah I'm curious and uh I'm like listening to music and he's sitting next to me. But you still I, got your earpods in in the sauna? Oh yeah. Okay. I'm just they're, I'd they're be worried for, about sweat. Like No, they're built for the for the shit. Like right. they're they're good. Like they, they might fall out once in a while if I'm like sweating profusely. I just I get yeah, I get so paranoid that like sweat's gonna dude, dude, I well, they're apparently it's sweat and water resistant. But Yeah, okay, sure. I can't sit. I, okay, actually. No, you know what that's a good point. Because remember I dropped mine in the sink while the water was running and I dried it out and it still did work. I can't sit in a sauna without music. Just like I can't really work well, no, out without music. Well, no, because it would just music. be like, what, like dead silence and like... Silence. Just So, okay, when I picture a sauna, though, I'm thinking of like... you never even seen one? No, I'm thinking of like the old school, like Nordic style sauna where you're sitting on some wood plank bench that's and what there's it is. a thing of coals in the center and you throw water on it. Yeah, that's what it is. Oh, wait, seriously? Yeah. There's like some hot coals and you throw some water on there. You're not supposed to throw water on it. That's like against the rules. In fact, my gym has like a big sign that says like, don't throw water. I'm going to do it. It's because it's not, it's like, they're not coals. They're stones or some shit. That well, can yeah, okay. Yeah. I don't know. Whatever. It's just, I mean, the old school thing. ones was coals, but I guess it's stones. Yeah. It's just, but yeah, it's literally like it's. So it's not steam. It's just a heat sauna. So they have the heat sauna and then right next to it, they have the steam room. Oh, yeah. uh, okay. But I so can't. if you're just in the heat sauna, that's probably. I was like thinking the AirPods. I think it was like a steam room, and I was no, like, but even fuck with them. Even then, I still go in there because I oh. can't, I can't fucking. But I like the steam room because it's good for your lungs because it's like it's helps with like breathing and sometimes they have like some people will put uh like those like like what does it smell like the like aroma therapy essential shit. Oils? Yeah, essential oils. They'll put it in the thing and then it smells really nice, but. Um, hmm. this that dude, sounds really nice actually. Yeah, it is. It's dude. I'm telling you, pull up. We'll do it. I, yeah. If I get this job, I'm going to get a membership. I'm um, do it. he comes in and he's like, he like, I pull my phone out and he, he's like, he, he's like, like dad, like he's saying like 30 minutes and he's like surprised. And I'm like, what's up? And he's like, you're doing this for 30 minutes. I'm like, yeah, yeah I'm going to try it. And he's like, okay, I'm going to do it with you. I'm going to do it with you. And like, he's like, basically, he's like, all right, we're going to fucking do this together. We're fucking homies. Like, let's go. And I'm like, all right, you know, but every like five minutes, he was asking me for the time. And like, the thing is, is like, if you're doing that shit, you don't want to look at the time. No, it makes the time go slow. It's like when you were in school and you're like, and you kept looking at the clock. And and you're like, I swear to God, it's only been, it feels like it's been fucking 30 minutes and it's been right. two minutes so after like he asked me twice i was like bro i was like are you listening to music he's like yeah i'm like just listen to the music focus <clears throat> and count the songs and like ask me again at like 10 songs because 10 songs is roughly 20 minutes or so yeah you know it could be longer and i was like just count count the songs and that's like what helps me when i'm like running or walking biking anything I just count the songs. I try not to look at the time because that because when you count the songs, you like 
Because you know how sometimes if three minutes, fuck, a song could be five minutes. Right. All of a sudden, it's like, oh, shit, it's been an hour already. Yeah. Because you know, like I try could, to do could, an hour every day. You could think day. like, oh, it's been like, I've only counted 10 songs, like 20 yeah. minutes. And I looked down, it was like 40. Cause exactly. Because there's a couple of four or five minute songs mixed in there, you know? Exactly. So that's that's what I I was, uh, I don't know. I was I was in there and he's just like, yo, man, how, how long? I'm like, bro, it's been two minutes since you asked me. Like, don't, Are we there like, yet? Are yeah. we there yet? <laughs> but then he, I talked to him afterwards and he's like, that's when you know, like when someone, when you like become not like friends, but like when the acquaintance officially begins is when they go like, oh yeah, I'm Rafi, Raphael, by the way, what's your name? And then you're like, Billy. And then it's like, fuck, that's it. There you go. Now it's like, a thing. now I know this guy. Because before, before that happens, it happens a lot at the dog park, which is funny because I'll be sitting there and like, they'll be talking to Farley and then I'm talking to an adult. But it's like this weird moment of like, they don't know my name, which is like kind of like a freeing thing. And then yeah. all of a sudden they're like, hey, what's your name, by the way? I'm, I'm, I'm John. I'm like, like oh, Billy. Dude, if I tell you that, I know you. I don't want to do that. Yeah, yeah. And then, and then it's like, hey, Billy, every well, time there's you know. Like, there's actually some stuff like that where there's like the um, – it was popular back when I was hanging out with a few of my buddies. Was They were called no-name parties. <laughs> Like, you just went there and had a good time. You weren't right. allowed to ask names, say names. Because it's like you just have a good time. It's kind of a You're vibe. not worried. Like, you're going to, like, you might. It's, it's like you feel, like, even if you saw that person again later in public. Yeah. Like, you wouldn't even, you wouldn't be like, oh, hey, what's up, Fred? You know, like, there's no I can imagine, name association. I can imagine you know? you're at a party. What's your name? What? No, <laughs> yeah. sorry. No name party. No name party. We don't ask that question here. It is. It's actually yeah. crazy. It's like you said, it's kind of freeing. It's like you get to know this party, have fun. You don't got to worry about like, what's this guy's name? What's that guy's name? Like, he's like, hey, what's up? Hey, how you doing? Like, hey, man, hey, girl, hey, whatever. Yeah. Like, whatever, you know? Like, yeah. hey, thing. Like, mm -hmm. it's just whoever anyway. you're talking to, whatever you're talking to, you could talk to the couch. What's your name? Sofa? That's great. Like, just don't ask anyone's names. It's yeah. like, it's, it's freeing. Kind of it's kind of interesting. Because never... it's like there's no commitment then, right? Like you're yeah. not, it's not that like, oh, now I know this person. You know, yeah. it's like you just go there, you fucking hang out, you have some fun. You're not feeling the stress of like, oh, shit. What was that like, guy's, was that guy's you, name? You know as what soon I mean? as you leave, then you could like, as soon as you walk out the door, I'd be like, so what was your name? No, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was it. No, it right. was. So my buddy, uh, my buddy Weldon. Oh, shit, names. No, he threw the party. Yeah. And that's what it was. It's like when the party was over, everyone was leaving. Like, you know, there's some people going around. Like, hey, yeah, what was your name, buddy? Totally like, you know, like, pegged you as a Steve, man. What's yeah, your like, name? yeah, you seem like such a total, like, Aaron. Yeah. Like, that's what I'm getting. Um, yeah. It was funny. There were actually people doing that. Right. They were like, I want to say Dan. <laughs> and I was like, you want to say wrong. Yeah. <laughs> like, people thought you were name your name was Dan. People thought my name was Dan. You look like a Dan. I was like, I hate to break it to you. I'm just human. Yeah. It's, it's funny. I, like never really like had anyone like I it's if someone's like what's your name I'm just saying my name but I want to be like what do you, you what never, do you think yeah I was like you've is. never said that I've actually done that I'll be like Yo, so what's your name I'm like what do you think it is like you've never just seen what someone thought I just no I don't know no it's don't, fun try it next time honestly yeah I'd be like what do you think my name is like, I mean yeah don't say it like that fucking idiot no. yeah right don't don't <laughs> be like. You fucking guess it. You don't know it. Like, you yeah. know, just be like, you know, be like, hey, yeah. Well, I don't I mean, fucking I'd... tell people my name. Yeah, like, yeah. Well, hey, so what's your name? Be like, oh, hey. Uh, but, but like, the problem is they'll normally be like, my name's this. What's your name? And then you feel like an asshole. It's like, well, why don't you guess? Like, you know, so it's like, it's yeah. got to be the right situation. Got someone coming in like, hey, you know, so what's your name? It's like, I, I always do this. I go, you know, I like to do this little fun thing completely. Like, I'll just be like, I like to do this fun thing. It's, it's just sometimes interesting to see, like, what do you think my name is? It's like the way you say it, the way you deliver it. Yeah, you know. Yeah, it's got it's got to be like fun and quirky. Yeah, like, whoa, fun and quirky. What's my name? <laughs> Dude, thinking about like uh, how we were talking about how weird it is to talk to people in public since the internet ruined everything. Right, uh, destroyed it. Like I think about like dating, how dating has changed. And, oh like, yeah, I was um, actually that I was gonna bring it up when we were like, I was like, now it's like someone being like, hey, do you want to hang out? Like I feel like someone asking me in real life, do you want to meet? Is sus. It's like automatically like, oh, no, Danger. sorry. Sorry, I'm taken. Um, can't do that. Like, yeah. it's just like that. Why else would you want to fucking see me in person? Like, yeah, unless you want to physically touch my body, which is weird. Get away. Like, yeah, it's. Well, I think about like how uh, like back, like I dated, like I've never dated without the Internet. Right. So like, and I feel like it's the same thing for you. Uh, I did actually. But, but did you internet. like go 
to bars. Yes. And like when I worked at the one company Damn, I worked I at, my coworker Danny, uh, I didn't tell anyone I was gay at the time. Yeah. Because I was like, there's still that kind of stigma. Uh-huh. And uh, so he, I just said I didn't have like a girlfriend. Yeah. Because that's true. I had a boyfriend. Right. But so he was like, oh, he's like, shit, you know, I'm single too, man. It's tough out there for us, us single guys. You want to go out and get some drinks and like, like, you know, see if we can meet anyone or whatever. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, fuck, I've got to perpetuate this lie. Yeah, sure. Yeah. So we would like go out to bars and um, go bar hopping. And he would always be like, yo, check out that, that, that chick over there, man. Fucking, yeah, she's gorgeous. You should go ask her. And like, that was like me subconsciously being like, all right, so you like her because you think she's gorgeous. Right, right. So then I'd be like, oh man. No, man, she's you not, go She's not my it. type, man. You take that. Yeah, you get yeah. that one. Whatever, you know, guy yeah. talk. But it was funny because at one Wait, point, but this was you trying to like pretend that you were straight at the time? I don't or? have to pretend. I'm pretty good at it, honestly. Because I'm well, not bi. like No, I know. But, but like, like, no, you, no like, he did not know I was gay. He didn't know I had a boyfriend. Right, right. Like, nobody knew except my mom, obviously. Yeah. But like, I worked at the same company as her, but I just didn't tell anyone because it was like, I didn't want that stigmatism. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it was funny because we got into a bar. This mm-hmm. is in Chicago. Wait, it's on... s- did you say stigmatism? Yeah, isn't that a, isn't that the word? No. What is the word? Stigmatism is like when your eye when no, like no when that's you... that's an astigmatism. Ah, uh, stigma. Look it up. I swear no, to no, God, I, it's fine. It's I want to look it up now. I need to know. Stigma is like a stigma. Look up stigmatism. St- I've, I've been saying this wrong. Stigmatism. It's. A condition of the optical system. It's like when you ha- like I have a stigma, a stigmatism in my left eye, but like, huh? Oh, what's the difference between stigmatism and astigmatism? Without that's so crazy. I yeah. swear to God, I've always heard that used though when you're talking about the optics of a situation and how people see you. Maybe, maybe I don't know. Maybe it's like one of those double entendre I, things, I, where it's like it means one thing, but it means another yeah. thing. But either way, like whatever. So the point yeah, was, yeah, yeah we were saying. we were at this 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 bar at yeah. one point, on uh, actually on Jackson, and um, uh, we go in there, and it's funny because we're just sitting there, we're drinking, um, and he's like uh, sitting there, and he's looking around, and he's like, "Man, I think this might be a gay bar," <laughs> and I was like. Bear in mind, he doesn't know I'm gay, but I've walked in and my radar is not right. triggering. And I'm like, oh, you didn't, also, know, you didn't know it was? No, I, I don't know. I've never heard of it first off, but like I didn't sense any other gays in the area. That's yeah. how it works, you know. We have like the, you know, <laughs> yeah. I sense an immense rainbow power level in the area. Yeah. No, but like uh, it was funny because like I, I was like, um, I, the place was called Rebel and it looked like a biker bar. And yeah. I was like, gay? Have you been to a gay bar? There's not enough rainbows. And I was yeah. like, I was like, really? What makes you like? I didn't say. That. I was like, but really? What makes you say that? And he was like, I don't know, man. There's a lot of just like you know, like like it's just two guys drinking together. And then I just kind of was like sitting there. And I gave him this look of like, Danny. He's like, huh? And I was like, one, two guys drinking together. I was like, is there something you're not telling me about your sexuality? Yeah. And then he kind of thought about. It. He's like. Okay, yeah, yeah. And I was so like, yeah, he came out? He came out? No, like no. It was because he thought it was a gay bar because it was just a bunch of like two dudes drinking together. And I was like, we're two dudes that's drinking like, together. That's so literally like, what a bar is. Like, you Yeah, just... that's like if you're going to a, like most bars are just a lot of guys drinking together. Like it's, yeah. it's like, dude, that's not a great way to base if it's a gay bar. Yeah, there's a lot of dudes in here. It's yeah, pretty gay it's like, to yeah, me. Yeah, it's kind of no. like that's what goes. That's yeah. what goes there. Like, dude, they're not playing Madonna. There's not going to be any women in here. Like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But it was funny because, um, you know, we, we were out doing all that. Uh, and there was, it was great because I tried, I kept setting him up and he kept doing this thing. Like where he would just be like, no, nah, man, no, no, no. I'm like, come on. Like, yeah. You know, I actually would go over and break the ice for him. Like, yeah. Cause that's friend. like the hardest part. Yeah. I'd be like, I'd be like, hey, I'd be like yo, hey, like, so my buddy over there, he's kind of like really shy, but like he, you know, he wants to talk to you, say hi, I'd be like, you know, you just chill, we all drink yeah. together, or something like that, right? Wingman shit. Right, wingman shit. And then he would just be like, no. I'm like, what am I breaking the ice for you for if you're not going to move to like right. even try to say hello? Yeah. And it's like, so it was funny though, because at one point we walked in, there's a table of girls sitting there, they're all drinking. Mm-hmm. Me and him walk in, we're just hanging out by the bar talking. 
and he was like kept looking over that table and yeah. i was like i was like All right, i mean do you want to go over and say hi yeah. and he's like i don't know man he's like i kind of kind of he's like i mean a couple of them are pretty cute like you know and he's like i kind of hear what they're talking about and it's some stuff i like because they were talking about like he was he was nerdy too like he you know he went to college for uh, inventory control and numbers and stuff so mm. like they were talking about like science stuff which yeah. is really weird when you go to a bar and it's a group of like girls that are all like blonde with like you know it looks like that stereotypical like mean girls crowd but they're mm. all like oh my god can you believe the pi square ratio of 35 is and it's like <laughs> Yeah, and yeah, I was like, yeah. "All right, man. Like, hey, so um, you know, so they we were all in. like science people. I don't know science. what they did. I think they went to college in the area, probably one of the the universities there. Yeah. So they were like students. Um, and it was funny because you know, so we walked in, and I mean, I obviously noticed the table when we walked in, and I was like, mm-hmm. "Well, look." I was like, uh, I was like, the two closest to us are both wearing rings, so they're taken. I was like, the one on the other side is probably free. I can go over and introduce you. So mm-hmm. uh, at that point, I like grabbed an extra drink. Because I noticed what they were drinking. And I took an extra drink over there. Smooth. Yeah, I'm really weird. I, like, notice shit I shouldn't notice about yeah. rooms. But that's, like, a part of the ADD and hyper-focus problems I have. Yeah. Um, so I, the, the two other girls, they go to the bathroom. Mm-hmm. This is, these other two girls are left. I walk over with that drink. I put it down. I was like, hey. I was like, I noticed that's what you're drinking. I was like, not from me, by the way. I was like, my buddy over there, uh, you know, he's, you know, single guy. He kind of likes you, thinks you're cute. He wondered if he can come over, maybe drink with you guys and talk. And she kind of did the the little hair hair thing, like she's like, sure. And mm-hmm. the friend right next to her was like, oh no, thanks. She doesn't want you guys to come over here right now. And then uh, it was funny because she was like, oh, she's just you know, she's she's really not into you. You're not her type. Oh, like because like, she someone... thought I was like being like, oh my friend. Like she didn't actually realize. Right. Like no. And my then I was just friend. it was it was funny because I literally went. I put my hand down. I was like, that's the cutest thing you've ever said, honey. But I'm gay and she is not good enough looking to make me turn. Damn. And then I just walked away. Burn. And it was great. I mean, like the the the, the woman just stopped talking completely. And she was like, oh. I went yeah. back over. Danny's like, hey, what'd she say? And I was like, uh, I was like, well, she seems interested. But like her friend over there is not interested. Yeah. And she made that very well known. And I was like, so like, if you want to go over there and say hi, I was like, I think her friend actually thinks like I was saying like my friend yeah. is an excuse. So maybe if we both go over there, like she'd be more receptive. And he's like, I don't know, man, let's just go to the next place. And I was like, you motherfucker. Was this in North Carolina? No, this was out here in Chicago. Oh, right. And okay. I worked out here. But it was just funny because it's like, you know, we were going bar hopping. And, and so that is something I've dealt with is like, I personally wasn't dating. I was trying to pretend. Yeah. But it was funny because like the next day he was like, <laughs> he was over there. There's another guy, Marco. We were with. He was like, yeah, you should come with us next time. It was like super fun. And we drank. We had a great time. And then, you know, he was like, um, he was like, I struck out a lot though. Like I didn't, I didn't, I didn't get any. I was like, you didn't talk to anyone. <laughs> like, I threw him straight under the bus. I was like, right. you didn't even leave the bar. I had to talk to all of them. And then Marco was like, oh man, like, like yeah, you probably, you probably popular with the ladies then, weren't you? And I was like, oh, for fuck's sake. And I like was tired of it because at this point it had been like three weeks of lying to them. Mm-hmm. And I was like, all right, I got a boyfriend. Yeah. Like I just, I was like, I, I was like, I, I have a boyfriend. I'm gay. Yeah. And then they just both stopped eating. They're like, wait, really? And yeah. I was like, yeah. And then Danny's like, he goes, are you sure? You're like, actually, I don't know. No, don't you know, know what, Chief? You're right. I'm not. <laughs> yeah. I was like, yeah, I'm sure. He's like, oh, you were just like really killing it last night with the ladies. I was like, so? Because I'm gay. <laughs> right, right, yeah. No, yeah, of course I was killing it with the ladies. We have a common interest. We both like dick. Yeah. Yeah, simple. I was like, I, I, because I'm not when, when, it, like, have you ever seen like, have you ever seen the inside of a gay bar? No. Tons of gay guys, majority straight white women, or right. straight women in general, right? Because they can go there and they won't get hit on. True. And that's the thing. Like, it's crazy. Like, they, they, they just go. Like, my mom. My mom goes to gay bars all the time. She's not mm. gay. She just knows if she goes, she's not gonna get some weirdos hitting on her. Yeah. Like she goes there, she sits, she drinks, like you know. Yeah. She doesn't have to worry about people coming up and be like. Also, gay people hey. are like the, the nicest people ever. Seriously, like, like, like I love going to gay bars. Even before I was like out about it, yeah. like I like 
It was great. We went to a gay bar out in Wisconsin, me and my mom and her mm-hmm. friends, because she has a couple of friends that are gay. Her friend's mom, yeah, who is 80, went with us to the gay bar. Right. Because she wanted to get drinks and not feel like she was getting looked at and stuff. Mm-hmm. And that legitimately, like there were just like, there was like, I was sitting at the table with them. We were all drinking. And like one of the, the waiters, cause they have the guys that walk around with like yeah. the jello shots and stuff. And he comes over and he like puts a jello shot in front of her. And he's like, this one's on the house. You look gorgeous, sweetie. And walked away. Like, where do you think an 80 year old woman can go at a regular bar like that and get Dude, some jello like, guy that looks like he's like 20 with ripped muscles walking up and saying she looks hot. It's cause he's gay and he has no commitment. Like, yeah. Jello shots are so dangerous, like in a good way. Like <laughs> oh I my love God, you jello just shots. Get, oh, and they always use cheap shit in it. Yeah, like so even, like Tito's, right? Yeah, well, even when we make it, we use like Skull and Aristocrat. Dude, like, I was we at, use the shit cheap, like the rubbing alcohol vodka. You get hammered off those. So that reminds me of like this bar that I was at. It was in Iowa, and it was like a college town bar. So like everything's like dirt cheap, right? And uh, they have this drink called. Uh, Oh my god! If I don't fucking remember the name, it's gonna suck because it's a good ass name. It's like, it's like, goodbye. I think it's called like goodbye motherfucker or like, like see a motherfucker or something like that, right? Like a weird. Is it name. just like a fucking knocks you, blacks you out kind it's, of alcohol? It's like a, it's vodka with like blue, like blueberry shit in it or, or whatever, and it's like made with it's like super cheap vodka. But they have this thing, where it's like it at one point of the night for an hour they're a dollar oh damn and you just get like shit face so i like i was like so what i'm like talking to the bartender like and and it's funny because college bars are like they're fucking it's all about just like cheapest drinks get as many people hammered like the on a a budget the bathrooms (laughs) are disgusting but it's it's like a vibe everyone's singing and shit it's like dive bars but cheap yeah yeah and they do the like you go to the city you go to any bar down here you're gonna pay because like my drink of choice most times is gonna be like vodka cran. Oh, vodka cranberry is like if if I'm drinking, it's probably gonna be vodka cranberry. Maybe if I'm feeling saucy, I might do a, a henny. Saucy. I might do a henny and a pineapple. But vodka cranberry, bro, that shit. Like you go to the city, it's gonna be anywhere from sixteen to twenty dollars for a, a glass this big. Yeah, no. Right. Four dollars. Literally, $4 that's why I'm always the place. designated driver. Cause I don't want to pay that shit. Also the stuff yeah. I drink, do you know how crazy it is? Mm. I drink 18 year old single malt scotch whiskey. Right. Like that shit's taxed. Th- that's I, I, as a, as a, as a consumer that buys it off the shelf without the bar tax, yeah. pay almost $200 for the bottle. Shit. Can that's you imagine a big ass what bottle? a glass? No, it's a 700 milliliter bottle. Damn. Can you imagine what a glass of that would cost though? And that's the only alcohol I can really drink. Cause the way it it's fermented and made that particular brand doesn't spike my sugar very much. So. Well, I started seeing like all these people walking away with these blue cups and I'm seeing like this dude's carrying like five of them. And I'm like, and you're what, just the like fuck? what the fuck is happening? Here? I go up there and I'm, I'm like, what's the, what's, what's the in deal? the cup? <laughs> I literally just, I ordered 10, 10 bucks all and right. we got fucked up. Well, there was a, there was a of great $10, place you know? in, in North Carolina. There's a great, great gay bar. Surprisingly. Uh-huh. Um, it was called legends. Mm. I don't drink. Um, and we, we would go there. My girlfriend goes and everything Mm. they had. Uh, so the, the bar was outside and each bartender that worked had their own specialty drinks. Okay. So it was like based on what there was like the four posts based on which one you went to, they had a little sign to say what the specialty drinks is. Yeah. It's actually a drink they invented that they do. One of them, I shit you not was a shot called a rum shot, Mm -hmm. which or no, a rum job, rum job. Yeah. Which, you know, instead of a rim job, (laughs) ha ha funny. Yeah. But um, they have, <laughs> I walk up and I was like, I was like, I'm going to be straight with you. I was like, first things first, I need an entire cup of Marchino cherries. Mm-hmm. And the guy's like, uh, yeah, I could do that. And I was like, awesome. Awesome. Thank you. I was like, my girlfriend is hammered and you have no idea. Like I swear. Like she, she just loves cherries. No. Yeah. She gets, she loves the Marchino cherries. She will like save it to the end and then eat it. And I'm like, you realize you can just get those from up there. Like they have so many. I'm they, not a fan of they just, things. but yeah, but she was like, what? I'm like, yeah. So like she'll get drunk and I go up there and I get like a fucking, a cup full of Marchino cherries for her. And I just tip them like five bucks. Yeah. Um, which I mean, objectively it's like a dollar in a store to buy an entire jar, but whatever. I'm at the bar at the time. All I really like from <clears> bars <throat> is like, limes i love a good the, lime like a lime yeah lime but then, well, they have i was talking with them i was like 
I was like, you know, I'm looking for a, a cost efficient way mm. for my girlfriend to have a good time. Yeah. And he was like, rum bucket. <laughs> what? What did you just say to me? He's like, how rum much, bucket. How much was it? I was like, and well, I was like, what's a rum bucket? And he put like a sand pail, like you go to the beach, like yeah. this, like this big, dropped it on the counter and was like, that's a rum bucket. I was like, what's the deal with the rum bucket? He's like, we put about a quarter of ice. We pile on like fucking mangoes and fruit. And then we just fill the whole bucket with rum. I was like, and what does that cost me? Like 50 bucks? He's like, $8. Oh, shit. I was like, you're going to give me a bucket of rum with a bendy straw for $8. And he's like, yeah. I was like, I'll take three. (laughs) They they have the little rope handles. So I was walking back with the buckets. It's like supposed to be like for one person each. Yeah. Okay. It's a bucket. It's a little, like it's like a sand pail. Like, but like what do they that. mix it with? It's just rum? it's just like ice with like fruit, like um, like mangoes and right, right. and oranges, whatever. Like just chopped fruit, and then like they stir it up. They put maraschino cherries, and they just pour rum into it until it's full, and then put a straw in it and give it to you. If it, it's just fruit, that's just got to be strong. Yeah, it's just fucking like, rum and fruit. Yeah. God damn. So, it's yeah. that's the that's the smart thing though. You go through them pretty quick because the amount of fruit they put. Like yeah. they fill up the bucket about three quarter away with ice and fruit and yeah. then pour rum so in. So it's probably just like three, three or four shots maybe. Oh no. I mean, it's at least like a normal, like if you just got like a straight, like tall glass of rum, mm-hmm. but it's like, it's in this big container. So you feel like you're getting more, you know, for eight yeah. bucks, but it's like, you're really just getting a glass of rum for eight bucks, which is still taxed because they used uh, Malibu, which is cheap. Yeah. You know, or yeah. Malibu is the cheap one, right? That's mm-hmm. the coconut rum. Yeah. Yeah. I like, uh, like, a good drink to just get hammered right away is going to be like Long Island iced teas. Oh, fuck yeah. This is the song about breaking in to other people's cars and stealing their stuff. Yes. If you're a smart person, lock your doors. Don't leave your keys inside your car. Yo shit gon' get took. Yo shit gon' get took in. I promise you. When you get out your car. Lock. I have no idea what I'm doing. Mm. I'ma steal your motherfucking car if you don't lock that shit. I'ma steal your car, I'ma steal your car I'ma steal your car, I'ma steal your car If you don't lock your door Billy gonna steal your car Lock your doors, lock your doors, lock your doors Or I'm gonna steal your shit On gang! Wait, is it the end? Yeah, oh okay all right episode seven that's a wrap next week i swear we'll have a guest right Promise. we'll have more we'll have more notice yeah 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 it was definitely a, a rushed episode but we talked about a couple things yeah for a good amount of time i'm yeah. glad we can do this easy. easy easy peasy this my guys is the power of friendship yes sir all right yeah cool oh i got a power of friendship signing off Oh, yeah, what? <laughs>